me personally because if i'm not mistaken she's someone on google that i searched so i highly doubt that she's even real i literally just typed in google scary looking teacher and because that's what the trend is and it popped up so i just selected the first picture that came up that'd be cool my daughter is going to kindergarten why not just play a little prank on her i'm gonna delete it because i'm tired of seeing all the stupid comments i know i know we're all feeling the exact same way after watching that so we're just gonna take a collective deep breath uh, before we keep going because I know I definitely needed to after I watched that. I had to take a beat for a while, especially after watching and, and knowing that the person that she's talking about uh, is me in the videos that I just showed you. And I have to be completely honest with you when I was tagged and saw these videos, the original prank um, of her showing her daughter was already taken down. Uh, the only reason that, I, that I'm, I'm fairly certain she was talking about me is from reading the comments. Uh, and people, you know, telling her who I am and standing up for me and supporting me and things like that. Uh, and then after I, I heard everything she had to say, it was pretty clear that yes, she was talking about me. Uh, and so I'm, I, w I want to, to talk about this. I want to talk to her about this uh, through this video. And I am not doing this so that I can have a bunch of people go find her, or send her hate, because if you've been following me for a while, you are definitely aware that doing something like that goes against absolutely everything that I say. And since I do have such an incredible platform and so many of you that are so amazing and so supportive, I'm going to definitely take advantage of this. And like I always do, make it a teaching moment for not only her, but hopefully anyone else who needs to hear this or who still thinks that making fun of other people um, is a joke and that we need to relax because we don't. So I want to start off by saying hi um, to the woman that posted the video. I'm Lizzie. I am real. I am not just a Google search. Uh, did you put my photo under scary looking teacher? No. Did I? No. Do I know anyone who did it? No. Does that even matter? No. But what matters is that I know you mentioned that you weren't making fun of me or, or my looks or, you know, saying anything. I mean, you didn't even think that I was real. So you weren't, um, you know, pointing out anything about my physical features. But when you said that you Googled and actually typed in scary looking teacher, uh, then downloaded the photo uh, that you found, uh, then put it, it, put it on the video, uh, then shared it, then talked about it, then got mad when people were sticking up for me and letting you know who I am. Uh, this is sort of where I really wanted to step in uh, and really wanted to show how important it is to take the high road in situations like this. Uh, is this road a bit harder to take? It is. Because I'm going to be completely vulnerable and honest and when things like this happen, I always try to do my best to not let it get to me or to not let it get through this wall I built up, but, but this one did. And I hate that I let the things that she said make me cry. I hate that I have allowed all of this and, and replaying the video in my mind all day long. It's now late in the afternoon and I'm still thinking about it so much so that I haven't been able to do anything else until I got ready to do this because I needed to talk about it. I need to address this and just continue on. I think what's most important to me is wanting to explain why this isn't just a joke why it's not easy for me to relax. Showing your daughter this video to make her laugh and to jump on the bandwagon with everyone else, I think is sort of where we started going down the wrong path in a situation like this. Kids are very young and when kids are that young, they are very impressionable. When you're showing things like this and showing them that it's okay to be afraid and it's okay to laugh because we don't know them, so it's okay for us to, you know, just get a good chuckle out of it. It's mostly because you might think that they're just a kid and they're gonna forget about it and they don't even know what being different is and they're taught to be kind and they're not gonna do mean things to other kids once they go to school. But right now it's okay because they're with me and it's funny. But I, I, I just wanted to share that the first time that I realized I was different and not in a good way was from a five-year-old when I started kindergarten uh, because they were scared of me because of my appearance. 
and other kids didn't want to play with me or sit by me and I was pointed at and I was teased and other kids were afraid of me and you know kids are curious and there's a way for us to teach them that being curious is okay and there's a way for us to teach them that even though we might not know someone laughing at them or making a joke at their expense it's not okay it also really wasn't a joke when I was 17 and someone posted a video of me online and they allowed over 4 million people to agree that I was the world's ugliest woman and it wasn't funny when there were thousands of comments that suggested that the world would be a better place without me or a reminder for me to put a plastic bag over my head when I go out in public because when people see me they're going to go blind. It wasn't funny then and it's still fu not funny now. Now do you have anything to do with that experience of my life? No. But what I think you do have the power to do is not allow something like this to happen to any other kid or adult. And all of that starts at home, especially with your five-year-old daughter. I played uh, your videos for, for my parents this morning and it, it's, it's crazy how instantly you sort of go back to moments where this has happened before. And I felt, I felt those emotions and I know they felt the same emotions of wanting to protect me as well. And as a mother, I'm sure you know what that, that feeling is like. Any parent just wants to protect their kid. I could invite you to, um, to, to our side a bit so that we can help be a resource for you or your daughter. And you might be thinking it's not that deep, relax, let it go. But, but it is because when things like this happen, they have consequences that can affect people who have no, had nothing to do with this and they are unintentionally going to be affected by the lessons and the words that are used when it comes to how we treat others and how we show them what kindness actually is. You mentioned that you wouldn't mind if somebody used your photo in a trend like this. And from the bottom of my heart, I would never ever wish that on you or anyone else, no matter what they said or what they did, because I know how it feels. Throughout my life, I've seen how beautiful being different can be, and I've seen how hurtful being different can be. I mean, it started when I was five years old. It got worse when I was 17, and now here I am at 34 years old, and I'm still talking about it, and I'm still dealing with it. Words and your actions matter, and they can leave a lasting impression on people. The way someone else feels, their feelings are valid. Being told it's just a joke, it's not a big deal, it's funny, everyone's doing it, doesn't make how horrible that made me feel. It doesn't take any of it away. Somehow it makes it worse. I think it was in your second video you mentioned that you don't know who I am and you didn't put my picture on there and you weren't making fun of my physical appearance and so in a way that sort of takes away the responsibility that I believe that you do have and you, and you should take. Uh, in, in that the right thing to do or to say. I think a perfect example, as I was laying down last night, this just kept running through my mind and the best example of how I can get across of what, of what my point of view of is imagine if someone um, attacked you and, you know, like, like physically hurt you or did something to you. And then the cops show up and they say, we want to, you know, arrest you for what you did and you need to be held responsible for what you did. But the person who was hurt then stands up and says, it's okay. They don't need to have any uh, consequences because they don't know who I am. They don't know my name. So it's all right. They can go. It's fine. No big deal. I think anyone would react in that way. And for me, that's how I see this situation. I'm very thankful that you took the video down. I'm honestly thankful that I, I didn't see it, that I was gone before I, you know, was notified to your videos. But here's my little reminder. Um, you were able to take the video down because you didn't want to get hate comments anymore. And there are people like me and many other people out there who don't have the privilege of being able to delete one video and stop getting hate. So the reason I'm doing all of this and responding and talking about it is because I'm hoping that you especially, and if not you, someone else will see this and, and think twice 
before they join a trend. I wish you well. I wish you all the best and the best for your daughter for school year. Um, but yeah, I'm Lizzie. I'm not just a Google image of a scary teacher. I'm Lizzie.